Hey guys. Hey. Today we're doing an unboxing from the guys at Mezco. Now, thus far, me being a new collector, they are my favorite because of the detail that goes into the figures, the articulation of the figures, and the clothing of the figures. I have not found a Mezco toy that has let me down yet. And the best part, you guessed it, they come with a base. And not just any base, they come with a base that signifies what they belong to. But you'll see more on that here in a little bit as we unbox these bad boys. Now, babe, what are you hoping for in these figures? I know you don't know very much about X-Men, and you definitely know even less about Gambit and Cyclops. With that being said, you kind of have seen the back. What are you anticipating? Well, looking at the back, I'm a little more excited about opening Gambit than I am Cyclops. And that's just because on the back it shows all these attachments that have that kind of plastic fire look. I don't know what you would call that. But I always like the figures that have like that plastic kind of clear that catches the light and it looks really cool. So I'm kind of excited to open Gambit. I want to see if the attachments look as cool as the box make them look. And I'm also curious to see if the, uh, it says that it comes with a couple different cards. I don't know if any of his hands will hold the cards or not looking at the box. So I want to see if he can hold the cards as well. I'm not a big fan of Cyclops, but you know, it's Cyclops. He's part of the X-Men group. She doesn't know much to say, because again, she doesn't know much about Cyclops. Uh, I'm super excited about these two. Uh, one, Cyclops I do not like, okay, as a character. Go ahead, roast me in the chat below. I am much more Jean Grey should have ended up with Wolverine, period. But that's neither here nor there. The reason I bought this bad boy, and the reason I'm excited, it should have been the same reason I'm excited about Gambit, but it's not. Shame on you, Mesco. But the fact that he lights up, that's really cool, says it right here, lights up. I have not been into these two, but I have seen lights up. On Gambit, it doesn't say that. Failed opportunity, you definitely could have made those cards glow. That would have been epic, because we've seen you do it in the hand. Well, hello, Freya. Uh, we've seen you do it in the hand of the Green Lantern. Uh, where his ring makes the lantern glow. So you guys could have definitely done something in his hand to make his cards glow. But that's neither here nor there. I am excited to see what their costumes look and feel like, especially Cyclops's. Um, I'm anticipating maybe a rubber type of outfit. Uh, it looks like uh, Gambit's going to have at least a cloth jacket over his body. The rest of it looks kind of plastic, but it looks like he'll at least have a fabric coat, so we'll see. Maybe leather, I can't tell. But there's only one way to find out, guys. Let's go ahead and dig in and take a look.
out. Pretty cool, huh, guys? This is the part of the show where we tell you what we thought. First thing is first, and I'm going to focus on Cyclops and then I'll move over to Gambit. The whole light vision is pretty cool. I think, Mezco, you should have used a brighter bulb. That way the light extends through the blast on both of these. I think that would have been a lot cooler to have that light extend further. Uh, because of the small bulb, uh, it it doesn't put out enough light to travel through those beams. Then now, the luck is cool. With that being said, I understand bigger light means you need bigger batteries. You could have stored the battery somewhere in his chest and had wires going up into the neck for the light. Uh, you could have stored the batteries in the heads themselves. Or in each guy. You know, something. You know, you, you could have stored the battery somewhere in the figure. Uh, bigger batteries so you could get a brighter light to make the blasts look cooler. The coat, fantastic. I love the pleather. I love the fact that you can zip it up. Great addition. The spandex uniform that he has under the coat, fantastic. It's plastic where it needs to be and it's spandex-ish where it needs to be as well. So great detail on the clothing. The articulation, well you guys saw it, there's 30 points of articu over 30 points of articulation. So it's fantastic on that. You do get multiple blasters, which is pretty cool, and you get two different heads, which is pretty cool. It gives you, um, what's, what am I looking for? Uh, variety. Variety, thank you. It gives you a variety uh, it, on how you compose your characters. Uh, how you can make them look. So I am glad that it does give you multiple hands. Uh, we've got two different hands on them right now. We've got the one that, that activates the beam and then a closed fist. Uh, as you can see in the hands, we have multiple hands for him. Uh, the stand, pretty cool. The yellow of the X-Men symbol goes great with uh, Cyclops. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, and then of course, you know, the bag for all your extra parts. I love that Mezco. And then the, the claw. Uh, I love this. Sub-Zero temperatures. <laughs> I was going Toy Story. Uh, I was going Liar Liar. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it gives you the ability to pose your characters uh, in different ways. I don't like using them because I don't like how the claws peek around. Uh, much like in the Superman you guys saw last week, I don't like something that can be seen around the figure. But, for those of you who like posing and aren't as picky as I am, great addition. What do you think of the Cyclops? Uh, I mean, he looks pretty cool, but I, I'm with you. I, I would have liked him a lot more if the light could have gone all the way through here. Um, just because that would have been my favorite piece and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I do like that he's got an actual fabric jacket. It's not that solid plastic like we saw with Pennywise. That was my biggest complaint about Pennywise was the clothes were just solid plastic which blocked a lot of movement. Now folks, bear with us a little bit. Uh, Pennywise was NECA. This is Mezco. NECA... I'm just comparing figures, not... not I, I'm just saying, um, NECA's a cheaper figure, Mezco Toys is more of an expensive figure, so that's why you get more from a Mezco. Well, NECA could take a lesson at you. Okay. Definitely could. Mezco. I was getting there, though. With the Pennywise, though, just comparing figures, not where they're from, it blocked a lot of his movement. Yeah. These guys, because they're in fabric, their articulation is great where all of it moves. I really hope you weren't able to see what was just going on right there. <laughs> we'll put a sticker over there. Right, right, my kitty's not, uh, she's not a lady, alright? But um, with the fabric, instead of it being solid plastic, all the joints move easily, no problem. You can pose them anyway. Hips move, legs move, elbows, everything. And I think the fabric has a lot to do with that because there's nothing keeping him from bending. 
So that's why I was comparing to Pennywise. I'm just saying you've got to be careful comparing the two uh, because NECA is a lower end uh, collectible. So of course they're not going to have the detail of this. Or people collectible. Pretty much. <laughs> Hence why we have so many NECAs. <laughs> But, you could, de I'm just kidding, I'm not going to throw any ads in here. Um, so that's, that's Cyclops. Now Gambit, so disappointed with Gambit. Um, let me start from the ground up. The base is identical to Cyclops's. The exact same. Exact same. Same color layout, same design, exactly the same. You guys missed it. You guys could have gone with his pink. Or the purples that he wears. Looks S red to me. You don't. You keep the X, but gone Gambit. Okay, the X is a great idea, but the colors just the colors are too much Cyclopsis. It's got a blue ring around the the border, and then the yellow X. Um, in fact, even <laughs> even Gambit's. Uh, yellow is brighter than Cyclops's. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, babe. What color are school buses? That's not important right now. <laughs> but uh, you you could have changed it up, didn't done different colors, or you could have done a different design altogether. I would have been fine with the X, just different colors. I'd have been okay if it just had their names on them and you know, their own colors or something. It didn't even have to be the X for me. But I guess that's just because I'm not as strong of an X-Men fan as some people. But even if it had the X, at least, like Dave said, do the different colors, you know? At, at least, you know. Uh, I do... Sorry. Go ahead, no. Didn't mean to cut you off. But I think this right here would have been the perfect base right here for Gambit. Oh, yeah, yeah that, see, that's what I'm talking about. You know, you could have done something along those lines. Um, I do love the hand accessories. There are so many different hands and so many different cards that he could have done. And again, I said this at the beginning of the video, light up. He could have lit up. And the, the pink here, all of this plastic, could have lit up and made it look like he was actually... You know, projecting power into his cards. And then, of course, I love his uh, staff that he's always got. And then, you know, I love his miniature cards, playing cards. That was a great uh, add-on. Uh, I don't know many collectors that would use it uh, when they've got the variety of energy cards that he could be uh, made with. And then, of course, the stand and the bag. Um, what do you think? Um, after seeing them, I think Gambit is more of my favorite out of the two. I like Gambit better. My only thing is, is looking at the box, I thought all of these plastic pink pieces were supposed to be kind of a dark red, so I was kind of disappointed when they came out like a neon pink. But otherwise, I think they look pretty cool. And Gambit's got a whole lot more accessories than Cyclops does. The only thing I don't get though is he's only got three hands for the right side and then he's got like six hands for the left <laughs> so it doesn't really make sense to me why he's got so many left hands and why I couldn't even it up but that's just my OCD talking where it should be even not more on one than the other yeah I was the same way when I was talking about one of our other figures why couldn't they just make it even on both hands um, but you know there again it's just being you know nitpicky and picky um, but I, I do love the armor is plastic, uh, but underneath his armor is the same spandex material that uh, Cyclops is wearing. So fantastic job on that. I do love uh, Gambit's armor. Uh, great detail. And then I love his coat. Uh, it's what we expect from Mezco. So great job on uh, Gambit. And I've got to side with Stevie on this. Even knowing Cyclops lights up, which is really cool. But Gambit's cooler. Just all the accessories, even knowing he doesn't light up. If he lit up, totally would be my favorite character. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. His pants feel like that felt on those pictures you color. Any of you out there that like to color a lot, you know what I mean. 
comes in the kits. It's got like four markers with I know what you're talking about. Pictures. The felt pictures that the the area you don't color on is felt. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I know. I'm your husband. I bought you many of those. She loves drawing and coloring. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, grade these so these nice folks can go on. Uh, I'm going to have to give Gambit here. Um, I'm going to give him three thumbs up. Good job, Mezco. You could have done better with the light up, but he is cool, even though he doesn't light up. What do you think? I think I'm going to give him four thumbs up because my only complaint was that I don't like the bases being exactly the same. They should be unique to that character. But, and you know, he could have lit up. If he had lit up, I still would have given him probably a five then. The base wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But the fact that he doesn't light up and the bases are the same and the hands aren't even, folks, I'm going to do a four thumbs up. Yeah, I, I'm with Stevie. If he would have lit up, I would have given him five. I definitely think it's worth two thumbs up, the fact that it lights up. With that being said, because Cyclops does light up, and that really is the only thing he has going for him, I mean, I do like the variety of visors, um, but it just, the bulb's not bright enough to project to the, through the longer uh, blasts. Uh, so I'm gonna give him a three thumbs up as well. Again, because he lights up, gives him an additional two thumbs up, uh, and the figure itself is what we come to expect from Mezco. It's nothing spectacular compared to their previous figures. Uh, so I would normally give him one thumb up if he didn't light up. But the fact that he lights up, I give him three as well. Um, I'll go with three, you know, just because he lights up. Otherwise, it would have been a two. Just because it's not my favorite, I am still pretty upset, like David said, about the light not going through all the way to the end. I was pretty excited about seeing that, thinking it would be pretty cool, but it doesn't. So, the fact that he's not even really my favorite to begin with, I'm just going to do three thumbs up, and that's because he lights up. And he's got fabric clothing. Alright. Well, that's just the opinion of the Game & Watch Pros. You can form your own in the link below. That's how you can go and pick yourself up one from our friends at Collector Zone. That's right. That's where we got them from is Collector Zone. They have many more Mezcos to sell and they're coming up with new figures uh, as we speak. So their description is going to be below or their link is going to be below. You can head over to their Facebook group or over to their webpage and you can order yourself some. But as always, Thanks for playing with us. Later, guys. Next time, take the fucking hit.